Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome guys. Please remember to subscribe to my lovely loyal subscribers. Welcome back. Different layout this time. Changes as good as the rest and I will be posting again very soon. Uh, so let's see where you're at right now. Let's see the situation you're in right now. Emperor. Okay, so this is good. Attracting abundance. Um, maybe a little bit defensive. Um, you know... Sometimes when we go through the death of the ego, our ego rises back up again. So you could be feeling really good, really confident here. Um, you should be in a time of good money. But let's see what's crossing you here if you aren't. Um, if you've got all this good stuff going on, you know, keep practicing gratitude. Let's see what's crossing you. Two of Pentacles. A lot of people have had this. Feeling stuck. Um, maybe needed to sign a contract at this time for a new home or for travel and things like that um but things seem up in the air at the moment about your next step and this could be what's crossing you what's next okay so let's look at the foundation of this let's see the lovers okay so uh being through a divine love situation here that um really got you to this point where you are now whether it is defensive because the emperor you know um is wearing his armor sat down quite cool and relaxed um is a life of luxury that everybody else is seeing on the outside of you at least but uh we know with gemini there's always two sides right so you could be um you know feeling quite stuck and vulnerable underneath all that armor here so what you're portraying to the world might not actually be what you're feeling inside. It's like a coping mechanism that maybe uh, you've, you know, acquired along the years. Uh, but because of this divine connection, you kind of feel like stuck. Like I can't move forward with the old way of things, but I don't also see uh, what's next here. So let's have a look at the recent past and see why you're not really seeing what's coming next or you know, why you're feeling stuck here. Princess of Cups. So somebody wearing their heart on their sleeve, somebody telling you, communicating some information, you finding out something to do with the love here. Um, this could be an apology that you was owed as well. Um, maybe never even got. So you could be waiting for an apology here in the very recent past um, that never came. The pages are about communication um, so even if you did get communication um, it wasn't really let's say mature communication um, but it was somebody acting off of temporary emotion so even if they said I don't like you I don't want to be with you um, it's a temporary emotion that they was feeling it's quite immature communication that you received from this person and if you was waiting on an apology, I'm feeling like you didn't get it. Yeah, the death card. So rather than apologizing, they could have ended a situation, moved like quickly ghosted here. So you could have been ghosted by somebody or some very immature communication where they communicated, hey, I don't want to be with you. I feel like um, they do have romantic feelings for you or here where we're at in this immediate past that they do have this love for you. I just feel like it's very immature communication. They was overwhelmed by this connection. It is a very divine connection with the lovers here. Um, and this foundation is about you returning um, to your spiritual lesson, what you came here to do. So this is about returning to healing, good health and good fortune. Um, so two of swords. In the very immediate future here, we're seeing you need to make a decision that you're in two minds about. We see that's what's crossing you here because maybe you didn't get that apology or the information that you needed. Maybe you don't even want to go back with this person, but there is a decision to make. Like, I'm still sort of healing from that. So do I get into a new relationship? Do I not? Um, will there be somebody else who I love this much? All that going on with you here. I will tell you this person um whoever this is there's this also this two minds that they have going on because when they're with you uh they felt nothing like it so they're confused by it mainly here um i feel like it might be something to do with their childhood or that they're quite immature 
um, in how they're dealing with a love like this. Okay, let's see the distant future for this situation. Tower, yeah, so it'd be quite shocking. Uh, something's going to sort of get you off this track. If you are just going through something at the moment, you might find out that some information about a romantic partner and then they ghost you and then you feel stuck and tied to that connection because you have some sort of unfinished business. They won't communicate with you unless it's to argue or maybe even drunk texts in here that they're doing. Um, rather than tell you what they're feeling and what their truth is, they would rather end it because it's overwhelming for them. So you might be ha going through a relationship that's coming to an end. As we move forward here, we're seeing that um, if we don't make a firm decision at present, then we're going to go down this road to a tower, something quite shocking that will redirect you and get you on the right track. I know a lot of people fear towers but you're not to fear this is a nudge in the right direction if you like but very surprising to you here um i feel like some of you whose intuition is telling you mm, i feel like my person's cheating and then you're getting to a point where this is about to come out in the near future um leaving you indecisive not knowing what to do and then the choice is no longer yours they could then ghost and not communicate with you at all so let's see what's on your mind or their mind about this um the situation that you've been through some of you like i say could be healing from this but you've just put on your armor and it's not really what you're meant to do you're not supposed to put your uh walls around your heart up but maybe your boundaries make healthy boundaries so communication will happen here with the eight of wands so they're thinking about reaching out and speaking to you and this might be quite shocking because of their level of communication before wasn't so great um so it might be quite shocking here that we see in the future and that's what the tower is um so this is uh they're thinking about calling you uh, i feel like in your mind you're having communication with them so it could be 5d communication um receiving messages via signs telepathy those sort of things um or you're considering what you have to say to them so it's like i would have said this i would have said that or i should have said this i could have said that um those sort of things like when you're thinking about somebody and you're having a whole conversation in your mind that sort of thing here maybe so let's see um the outcome of this situation ten of cups um so this relationship did come to an end here but you will get your happily ever after um in a nutshell so this tower is redirecting you to happiness so it's kind of like a blessing in disguise this tower you might not be thinking that it is but it is so if it this relationship wasn't serving you wasn't good and there was something you couldn't see here this is why the divine brings in the tower in order to protect you while you heal and then maybe even move forward into a new relationship or into a healed relationship it had to be looked at so we have to know the problem in order to heal it um so let's get you guys an oracle card and see if there's any extra messages uh this blessing in disguise um on both of your minds there's communication so i guess it's coming with the tower there it's time for a treat candy cane angel i feel like this candy cane angels is letting us know the time of year that it will happen so we usually use the candy canes around Christmas and give gifts right so I feel like you will receive this divine gift disguised here as maybe a tower but it will be a blessing guys a good luck